This is a typical inclined plane problem. Basically, we're trying to find the acceleration of a block that's sliding down an inclined plane of 30 degrees, ignoring friction. Well, first of all, we need a good mental picture of the situation. So, draw a diagram of the inclined plane with the block on it. Now, we have to do a free body diagram of the forces involved. So, one of the forces is the force of gravity, while the other is the normal force. All right. Now, the force of gravity is going to be hard to deal with because it's at an angle with the motion of the block. So what we're going to do to s make the calculation simpler is to break down that force of gravity into a part that's per uh, parallel to the plane and another part which is perpendicular to the plane. All right. The next step is to get an angle in that force addition diagram that we just drew. So to do that, we have to notice that we have a 90 degree angle there and that the angle uh, phi is the same in the top corner. So now we can write the angle theta. The 30 degree angle is that lower angle in our triangle. We can use trigonometry to find a relationship and determine the part of the force of gravity that's parallel to the inclined plane. So the force of gravity parallel to the inclined plane is mg sine 30 degrees. Now what we're going to do is redraw our free body diagram, but we'll replace the force of gravity with those two forces, so it's like this. Okay, so those two forces, those two blue arrows are equivalent to the one red arrow, which is the force of gravity. Now, in this diagram, we know it's not going to accelerate uh, perpendicular to the plane, so the force of gravity per perpendicular to the plane will cancel out with a normal force, leaving a net force of Fg parallel. Now to find the acceleration, we simply take the net force and divide by the mass, so the acceleration will be g sine theta, or in the end it's going to give an acceleration of 4.9 meters per second squared.